Can we all try to picture what we have done this morning? Brushing our hair, putting on our clothes. Can we all try to picture ourselves reaching out for a cup of coffee? Now imagine you can't do this anymore. You can't because you have pain in your shoulder. A quarter of the population is impacted by shoulder pain, often associated with disability. People over 40 years old are even more likely to have problems in their shoulder. These numbers is even higher with people using mobility devices such as wheelchair. 71% of the manual wheelchair users have experienced shoulder pain in their life. Shoulders is made of multiple bones and muscles, as shown on the slides, and they all need to work together to be able to function properly. It's like a two rider bicycle. The two riders have to coordinate with each other to be able to move forward and not fall off. If one is working less than the other one, then everything is impacted. And this is the same idea in an injured shoulder. Therefore, it's really important to understand what happened to be able to correct it and re-establish the balance. Shoulders is one of the most crucial and complex joints in the human body. And this is the focus of my research. Studying shoulders is really challenging, has need invasive method. Therefore, some non-invasive tool has been developed, such as simulation. In collaboration with surgeons and bioengineers, my research have developed a 3D computer model based on literature and data from a cadaveric simulator. This will help us improving our knowledge on shoulder function, change after injury, and change after surgery. This model can assess the impact of the slightest change or imbalance. It's made of multiple bones and muscles, shown in yellow on the slides. And using the range of motion, we can calculate the muscle force as well as the force between bones. The first results are in accordance with the literature, and they show that, depending on the range of motion, the muscles are differently activated. The validated model will be then used to assess the impact of injuries as well as surgical intervention. And if we just focus on shoulder replacement, we'll be able to assess in detail the impact on the joints as well as on the muscles. And comparing those results with the healthy joints, we'll be able to improve the implant design as well as the surgical technique. And we'll be able to do that for any type of injuries. This powerful tool is going to help us improving any treatment. And so people are going to still be able to use their mobility device or grab the coffee in the morning. Thank you.